standing with me for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a opening prayer. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our Father, we come to you today thanking you for the many blessings that you've bestowed upon us, thanking you for this very special time that each and every one is here, graduates, family, those that were able to travel here and those that were or be participating online. We ask that you be with each and one of those during this special time. Keep them safe. Let them enjoy the fruits of their labor. Have a joyous day today. We thank you for everything. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. Good morning, everyone. And Welcome to Pulse Radiology Institute's first annual graduation being held here in Jacksonville, Florida, the great sunny state of Florida that we are happen to be in. And uh, we have some people that's traveled some quite some distances to be here today with us. Most of our graduates, we have about 31, they're all across the United States. We actually have an individual that came from Sweden who just graduated and made the flight all the way to be here today to Jacksonville. And we're very pleased that he took that effort and that time to do so. We're very proud of our graduates and everyone that is here that has supported them. You know, graduates didn't get here just on their own. It took a lot of work. It took work each and every day to come in, do their homework, get in and make certain they hit their assignments, make their chats, be on the live sessions. But in order to do that, they had a lot of support out there, a lot of family members that really made the difference. And so we'd like to thank each one of you who made that possible there for that. And many times, I'm sure that you've heard about some of our names, maybe not always spoken in the best of life, uh, whenever it had some hard tests coming up and some of those types of things going on. But uh, in the end, I am very proud that everyone that has made it has earned that MRI associate degree. 
And so joining me today, as part of our Pulse Radiology faculty and administration, I'd like to first have you meet Neil Huber. Neil, would you mind standing? Thank you. He is our CEO and founder of Pulse Radiology. Thank you. Mandy. Mandy Stelts, our program director. All of you have dealt with Mandy on numerous occasions throughout. I see a lot of heads shaking there for certain. And uh, she's a tremendous asset as we go through there. We also are very privileged. Most of you guys know that we were ARMRIT accredited. And when you finish and complete your program, you can go and take the ARMRIT exam. We actually have their president and CEO, executive director with us today, James Coffin. Thank you very much, James, for being here. Just tremendous. Faculty members, I'm sure you've met each and every one of these virtually, but this is a chance that you'll have some to meet those. But right before that, we have Tara Uber. Tara is our student's accounts director. She's in charge of all that area. And I think she has some words to say at toward the end that she can talk about. But uh, following her is a very illustrious faculty member. He's an author, written books, and uh, we're very pleased to have Mr. Powers with us. Uh, in addition, we have Lindsay. Lindsay with us. She's out there. She runs all kinds of things. She has a, quite a big background, been in education for many years, been a director of education and dean and you name it. So we're pleased to have her on staff. Kayla. Kayla is there with us. She's full of energy, always out there, just making things happen in the classroom, and you'll see her when she's out there making things move and roll. So we're pleased to have Kayla on staff. And one of our newest members is Taylor Paul. Taylor Paul just joined us here this semester and is already doing a bang-up job, and we're very pleased to have you. So all of you guys, thank you so much for being here and making Pulse and being the Pulse. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. you have a seat. As I said, we're very, very pleased to have with us Neil Hoover. Neil Hoover is, as I said, the founder and our CEO. And he takes a great visionary approach to education and has done a tremendous job in putting this program together. As those of you who have been through it can see, I've been in education over 40 years and I've never come across a program that has been completed and put together in such a fantastic job. And he's quite a visionary, and I won't go into all of his other things that he has done, but I will turn it over to him to introduce our guest speaker today, Mr. Neal. Thank you. Thank you, Don. Well, I want to say thank you to Don for overseeing the graduation, and, uh, you know, your leadership is truly felt amongst the whole team, thank so you. thank you very much. Uh, when we first founded Pulse Radiology Institute, the theory was to solve a bigger picture across the U.S., which was fulfilling the need for qualified, certified MRI technologists to serve our patients. Uh, we're still finding ourselves in the same situation, but little by little, every single day, we're putting a dent to hopefully fixing that problem with our amazing graduates here today. So uh, with, as we kind of extended into uh, the MRI sector, we needed a really good foundation for our, our students and future employees uh, of uh, several imaging centers and hospital networks to have a really strong foundation for MRI. As we kind of look throughout the healthcare sector, one of those uh, that is taking the strong lead in making MRI a specialty is the Armrit Registry. Uh, again, I can't say how instrumental Mr. Coffin has been to Pulse Radiology Institute from the beginning. Uh, we've had several emails, conversations way before Pulse Radiology Institute was incepted. So it's an honor to introduce and welcome Mr. James Coffin to our graduation. Okay. Come on up. Right. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate it. That was, that's a great introduction. <laughs> anyway, I want to bring up some items that you might not, might or might not know. That MRI is going into its fifth decade. We start 41 years now. And the registry has been around for 33 years, fighting the battle to tell everybody that MRI is a specialty. And today, even today, you're lucky to find maybe 80, 85% of the techs doing MRI have gone to school. 
Most, like myself, I came from a non-invasive cardiac background, were cross-trained, and most came from x-ray like Neil. But Neil realized like, like the armored people do, that it needed its own education and clinical training. And you are part of that. You are pioneers in the field because you're leading the way. And I just want to bring something up to you that happened a few years ago. In 2010, we've been doing our meeting for about 18 years. We had the, the auspicious uh, occasion of having Dr. Demadian. Do you know who he is? The inventor of MRI. He made it happen. He's the Henry Ford. And at, his, at our lecture in Vegas, he was speaking, and he opened up the lecture by saying, the only people that know more about MRI than I do are all of you. And he was speaking to all of our techs because they are the end users. And what he spurred on is a new career that, that will never, as far as I can see, doesn't end. The applications and, and, and what's happening in MRI is phenomenal. You will always be challenged. Thankfully, you have a great didactic education, another word for academics, and a clinical education, actually doing MRI. For the last six months or a thousand hours, you've been interviewed. Did you realize that? And the clinical site may not be able to hire you, but they've nurtured you. They've made you one of their own. And at least they will be there to recommend you. And this is a very good time because I am getting the calls almost every week from employers. Mr. Coffin, why can't I find MRI techs? I said, I don't know, what are you requiring? Oh, well, you know, we, we like to have R RTs. I said, RTs, wh what does that tell you about MRI? Well, the fact is, they finally, they, they usually tell me, we can find certified, because there are a thousand certified. We can find skilled. So in other words, they hire them, and then they end up having to let them go, because we don't have time to train you. But you're changing that, because you walk in as a new applicant, ready to work or at least ready to learn. In other words, if you know one MRI machine, we know you can learn another one, because MRI is MRI. And that being said, I don't want you to be apprehensive about the exam. Take it as soon as you graduate, as soon as you're eligible, like now, to apply. It's foundational. Our mantra is, is that you don't, if you don't know this, you don't know MRI. And the basics of MRI, for example, spin echo. If you understand spin echo, which is old hat, really, but it's the foundation of all protocols. If you understand that, you, you understand where they came up with DWI and uh, flare and, 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 and gradient echo and everything else or turbo this or turbo that. It all depends on what the manufacturers uh, decide to name it, but it's all the same. But you have done the work. But I just want you to know, your work is cut out for you. You're just starting. And you will never, and I'm gonna leave you with this, you will never stop learning in MRI. You go on vacation, you're gonna come back a week or two weeks from then, going, what changed? What protocol did I have to learn? What doctor went on a seminar and learned a new protocol and asked you to do it? Oh, it's in the book, go, go look it up. And the doctor probably forgot they, they asked you to do it. They even forgot the reason for doing it. But you have to produce whatever they say. And be aware you are under the radiologist or doctor reading, and not all doctors reading are radiologists. So you're gonna provide them whatever they need. 
So in other words, when they give a prescription, you're the one who's going to make it happen. As they used to say in, I guess, the movie Gladden, make it so. Okay? So anyway, I congratulate you again, and I wish you the best. And don't give up. MRI is going to keep you busy the rest of your life. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Coffin. It is now my privilege to recognize our students that are graduating with honors and highest honors. So the following students are graduating with honors, which is represented by a GPA of 3.5 to 3.79. So as I call your name, please stand as at home as well. So first we have Deborah Carrero Travis. Simranjit Kauer. Shanae Kavanaugh. Rochelle Lachance, Jessica Mello, Victoria Miller, Dhruvi Patel, Narali Patel, Erica Patterson, Tiffany Randall, Maria Rojas, Emily Shallow. Yeah. Thank you. The next following students are graduating with highest honors, which is represented by a GPA of 3.8 to 4.0. So as I call your name, please stand as well. David Alexander. Nicola Berzion. Sarah Harold. Debbie Lachance. Ryan Panic and Anna Tobar. Please join me in congratulating these students. It is now time for graduates to come to the stage for pre presentation of the diplomas. It is my pleasure to now present candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree in Magnetic Resonance Imaging. David Alexander, Hannah Anderson, Adam Betancourt, Grace Boyles, Nicola Brizion, Stacy Bruce, Deborah Carrero Travis, Guadalupe Lupita Garcia, Sarah Harold, Amy Herrera, Simranjit Kaur, Shane Kavanaugh, Debbie Lachance. Rochelle Lachance, Rudy Marrero, Jessica Mello, Victoria Miller, Ryan Panic, Anmal Patel, Druvi Patel, <coughs> Narali Patel, Erica Patterson, Tiffany Randall, Nicole Riverall, Maria Rojas, <laughs> and our future PRI student. <laughs> You, 
Emily Shallow, Andre Simmons, Uma Laura. Uma Laura Shalorin, Anna Tobar, Lori Violet Paul, Elazar Yelizirov and Rachel Yu. Samantha Bazil. <laughs> Best for last. Yeah. Congratulations. You're first, do you? Right. Be careful. All right, graduates, if you would, please stand. Now, by the virtue of the authority vested in me through the laws of the state of Florida, the Department of Education, I confer upon each of you the respective academic degree for which you have been recommended with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations appertaining thereunto. Graduates, you can now move your tassels from your right to your left. Congratulations. I I am very proud to present to you our very first graduating class of Pulse Radiology Institute. If I could I have the audience let you turn and face them, and uh, let's have their show appreciation for everyone. Thank you, graduates. You can be seated, and I'll turn it to Mill Uber real quick. Wow, what an accomplishment. And, um, you know, I think I spoke to several of you students, uh, you know, being one of the first couple cohorts uh, and some that are live stream streaming, of course, that uh, there is a long tunnel here, but there is light at the end of it. And today we sit here in sunny Florida with, uh, you know, essentially getting to the light at the end of the tunnel. So uh, congratulations to you all and also to your family. As we stand here today on this monumentous day, let us reflect on the journey that brought you guys all here. Each challenge, triumph, hard test, clinical hours, clinical preceptors, okay? Uh, and all these shared laughters uh, that have shaped you into the resilient individuals and uh, certified technologists today. Today isn't just about a diploma. It's also about professional growth most important, patient care awareness, and the will to become the best MRI technologist each and every day. So, congratulations. You guys are now PRI graduates, soon to be MRI techs once you take the registry, okay? And I want you to all just sort of embrace this opportunity, okay? It's a new chapter in your life, um, and I think that knowing you all and seeing you all develop I know our patients are in good hands. So again, congratulations. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, this is coming to the conclusion of our graduation ceremony. What we will do is if all the guests will remain seated until the stage and the graduates have left 
once we have the last graduates has passed and left the auditorium, then everyone is free to rejoin their families and friends and enjoy this day of celebration. Enjoy the accomplishments that you've done. This is a great, great milestone. But it's not the end, as you know. It's just the beginning. So now starts the beginning of that new career. You're in a field, as you heard Mr. Coffin talk about. It's really a very new career, a very new field. You're pioneers in where you're at. Make certain that you go out and may we expect on you to make a mark in the world for what's going to happen in the future. So if you would, everyone go ahead and stand for our benediction, and then the audience can remain seating after that until the stage and the graduates have left. Our Father, we thank you for this day. Again, the privilege to be here today, be here to join with family and friends at this time that is such a milestone in life of changes that's going about, changes not only for the individuals that are represented here, but about the people that they're gonna come in contact with when they leave here. The changes of life that you'll have them help to touch and make. The people that'll be sick, that are gonna to need to be healed, and their part in making that a reality for them. We ask that you be with them, give them wisdom and knowledge and strength to do the things that lays ahead of them in the days gives them wisdom and knowledge as they go and take the test, that they pass the registry. Help them to be safe as their journey back home. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.